Introducing the Canadian Centre for Men and Families, or CCMF for short. We're celebrating Year 1 at the new Canadian Centre for Men and Families. Here's just a brief overview of what we've achieved in one year, since we began our operations in November of 2014. You may recall Mr. Earl Silverman, who tried setting up social services in his community dedicated to male victims of abuse, just like himself. Without success, however, in perceiving his efforts to have been in vain, he sadly took his life in 2013. After a successful capital campaign, one year later we opened our doors. The Centre honours Earl Silverman and those like him who died while searching in vain for someone who would understand their needs. A program of the Canadian Association for Equality, or CAFE, the Centre for Men and Families continues CAFE's tradition of campus outreach on men's issues. We've sponsored most events bringing education and renowned evidence-based expert speakers on men's issues at campuses all across Canada. At the Centre, we're focused most of all on community social support services and programs, particularly areas in the Community Mental Health Network where dedicated resources, research, and support for men, boys, and their families didn't exist before. We now have programs dedicated to the men's issues areas of domestic violence, suicide, and fatherlessness. But these are just the highlights of all that is offered at the center every day. We now have the largest library focused on men's issues in Canada and a safe space where men and women can read, discuss, and study the latest research in how male survivors of abuse and violence are doing in Canada. What helps men and boys manage suicidal thoughts and behaviors when they are alone, when they have family, or even when they have children to care for. Remember, no one is invincible. There's a lot that's been happening at the Centre, and we hope that you will drop by to check us out soon. Visit us online at menandfamilies.org or equalitycanada.com. A huge thanks goes to the compassionate team at the Canadian Association for Equality and the Canadian Centre for Men and Families. Thank you for watching, and to all those who've made the Centre possible, this is for you.